guys, how are you? Happy Saturday. I hope it's as bright and sunny where you are as it is where I am. Um, so today I wanted to share with you something great that happened to me. You know, I'm always talking to you guys about the fact that, you know, your mind is so powerful in how you obviously think, but how you also act um, in your life. Of course, I'm here and he's got to be here. Live video. Um, Chandler says hi. But so your mind is super powerful in how you, in, in what you can accomplish. And I'm talking about both physically and, and mentally. Um, as you probably know, maybe you saw on my page, last night was my eldest son's black belt test in Japan. Hello, sweetheart. Yes, I know. You, I love you too. You're my son too. Sorry. Um, he so Nicholas, my older son, um, did a had his black belt test in Japanese Jiu Jitsu. He did amazing um, because he's very private and 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 shy. He has asked me not to post anymore. He wasn't too thrilled that I posted about the upcoming test the other night, but I promised to obey him, so I am not posting any pictures of how freaking handsome he looks in his black belt uniform and how proud I am, but I'm here to tell you that he taught me a lesson, or I should say reinforced the lesson that I knew, and that lesson is about your mind, that you can overcome so much. Do you mind? You can overcome so much in your life if you just have the right attitude. The test is a grueling thing, not only the training for it, but it's an hour and a half to two hour test. Just him sparring, you know, showing all the moves that he's learned over the years and everything like that. So as a mom, I was tearing up with pride. I was thrilled. Um, I'm going to move him so he can look out the window better. So I was tearing up and, you know, any of you that are moms or dads know that when your child is doing something that they have trained for, worked hard for, it's just overwhelming to see it all come to be, knowing how much dedication, time, and effort he put into this. And there were, like I said, you know, I've run a marathon and I can tell you, like, I knew I was ready for it, but at mile 20, I really thought, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. You, you know, you hit that, I don't know if you've heard of that phrase, you know, you hit the wall. I literally hit the wall. Mentally, I was gone. But you have to push through. You have to dig deep. You have to find whatever it takes in your head and push through that mental barrier. And then you succeed. I completed the marathon. I did great. It was the best, one of the best experiences of my life. But last night, I saw that happen with my son and it just reinforced what I already knew and what I always share with you guys about your mind being so powerful. He, there came a point, I'd say an hour in, maybe a little less that, <coughs> excuse me, you know, he was, they were calling out moves for him to do and he just stopped and I saw it on his face and he froze and he just looked at the sensei and he was like, and she's amazing by the way. And she said to him, nope, stop thinking. Stop thinking. Stop telling yourself you don't know it, because you do. Just do, because you've practiced, you know the moves, you know what you're doing, you wouldn't be here if you didn't. And like that, when he stopped thinking, everything happened. The moves were smooth, they were flawless, they were powerful, they were exactly what he needed to display. And you know, it happened once or twice throughout the test and you could see that moment where he was just burnt, done, giving himself all those negative, I shouldn't be here, I don't deserve this messages in his head. Yet, he succeeded. Once someone reminded him, your mind is playing tricks on you. It's not true that you can't do this. And that is what I, if my almost 15 year old son learned that, think about what we, should be teaching not only our children but ourselves changing the way that we talk to ourselves it is so important not to have negative self-talk because we will believe what we say to ourselves and here's the thing would you say that to someone else would you tell someone else you're not pretty you're not you know your body looks like crap you 
you shouldn't wear that outfit, you, you're not smart enough, you don't have it for the right friends, you don't do the right thing. All those negative things that go in your head, you would never tell your friends or family that, but you tell yourself that. Or when you're working out, let's say you do make the moves to, to go better your life, get healthier, and become healthy, and you start working out, and you're like, this is too hard, I can't do it, I can't do it. Well, guess what? If you believe it, then that's going to be the reality. Your thoughts perpetuate what reality is. You cannot go into things thinking, I'm going to suck at this. You can't go into things thinking you're going to fail. You have to go into whatever, whether it's a presentation at work, uh, a job, uh, you know, relationships, a workout, whatever it is, you have to go into it thinking, I am going to crush this. And you will. You prepare, you get ready, and you crush it. You don't let your mind get in the way. And I know it's easier said than done. Believe me, I am the worst at working myself up. I, I suffer from anxiety. I totally, totally know how hard it is. But I also know I've seen the other side. I've seen the side where I don't let myself get, become my worst own enemy. And when you fill your head with the positive thoughts, the positive outcome follows. It's really true. And like I said, my 15-year-old son taught it to me last night, again, reinforced it. So I wanted to share that with you and tell you that it isn't just, you know, um, hippy-dippy talk. It's not just me saying, oh, think positive, rainbows and unicorns. It's not about that. You're going to have shitty days. It happens, people. I get it. I have them too. You're going to have bad workouts. You're going to have a bad meeting or bad presentation, whatever Whatever the instance is for you, you're going to have maybe, you know, not so great times. That makes the great ones all that more special. And you can have way more of the good than the bad if you learn to fix the way you think and talk to yourself. So I wanted to send this as a reminder. I want Nicholas, hey Kelly, how are you? I wanted, um, I want him to hear. I wanted him to um, be able to serve as a reminder to me and to you, and I want to pass it along to you. Talk nice to yourself. You are so worth it. You are better than you think you are, and I want you to believe it, and you will be amazed at how amazing you can become. You will be amazed at what you will be able to accomplish, and I can't wait to hear how it works for you. So it, I want you to start right now. I want you to think positive. I want you to tear, turn whatever negative thoughts you have around and tell me how it works out for you. I want to hear it in the comments below or I would love for you to message me. All right, guys, take that lesson from my son and have a great night. Bye. Bye, Kelly.